हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो स्टूडेंट दिस इज आवर सेकंड लेक्चर इन द सीरीज व्हिच आई हैव स्टार्टेड एज आई टोल्ड यू यस्टरडे दैट इन इन दिस सीरीज आई विल बी टेकिंग 10 लेक्चर ऑन ईच यूनिट आई गारंटी यू इफ यू वॉच ऑल द 10 लेक्चर्स एंड ट्राई टू सॉल्व आंसर्स विद मी योर ऑल द कांसेप्ट्स रिलेटेड टू दैट पर्टिकुलर यूनिट इन दिस केस हायर एजुकेशन सिस्टम विल बी क्लियर्ड and you will be answer all the questions most of the questions in the examination right now uh, going to the our first so in this question they have asked us to match list 1 with list 2 and in the list 1 they have given us the functions of the government bodies and in the list 2 they have given us the name or the acronym of the government bodies so friends as i told you earlier that whenever uh, match the following question comes you, have, you should know one correct pair if you know one correct pair your chances of answering the question correctly increases by 50% and if you know two correct pairs you know uh, with 95% accuracy you can answer the question so here as you can see four uh, functions of this uh, d I, i find access to quality and affordable medical education so uh, this is uh, done by the medical council of india which was uh, renamed to which was uh, you know converted to uh, national medical council that is the correct pair will be d Three, right so you have to see in the option where is the d3 so i see only a and b has d3 and in the next thing is if i see uh, a function c maintenance of standard in teacher education so it is it with teacher education we all know because we are also preparing for ugc net it is uh, you know uh, so uh, it will be taken care by national council for teachers education right so it will be c1 uh, c for 1 will be the correct pair so you can see in the a and b only a has c for 1 d for 3 so our correct answer will be a right the lay down the standard of legal education will be looked after by bar council of india maintaining the legal so maintaining the quality of technical education is easy all india council for technical education right so it was that easy i hope all of you have understood and wrote it uh, answered it correctly the next question is also about the match the following list right so in the list one they have given us the names of the day and in the list two they have given us the uh, dates of the uh, that day so as i told you whenever such a question comes nowadays ugc and in the paper nt is asking mostly questions uh, which are you know clubbed right they are not asking straight forward question like when is the earth day right and uh, uh, they will give us four days no now they they have stopped it they are clubbing four five days and then uh, in the below they are giving us multiple options right so first thing that uh, we should know is earth day right it's very common and it's it is celebrated on 22nd of april now we know environment day which is very famous it is celebrated on the 5th of june right so you should see c for two so how many options do we have c for two we have a then we have d right and then as i told earth day is celebrated on the 4 uh, uh, 22nd of april so you can see only uh, we have correct option directly by knowing two pairs that is d right correct option is d and the you know day is celebrated on 24th of october and remember the fourth important point is international day of education so international day of education is celebrated on the 24th of january whereas national day of education so you have to remember these two things is celebrated on the 11th of november and it is uh, it, it is celebrated on the birth anniversary of our first educational minister uh, molna doc molna abul kalam azad right so this is important information remember this. the question is who among the following was first chairman of the ugc so uh, students the ugc was first formed in the year 1945 for uh, to look after the operations of three universities that is aligarh university delhi university and banaras university and in the year 1947 it was extended to all the universities across india right so its function its authority was extended Uh, on the all the universities across india in 1947 so remember it was formed in 1945 and uh, it, its authority was extended to 19 uh, extended in 1947 across all the universities and in the year 1956 it was awarded a statutory body right uh, it was made into the statutory bodies and its first chairman after making a statutory body was sir c d deshmukh so the correct answer is cd deshmukh remember this three year 19 formed in 1945 uh, 
uh, implemented across Indian universities uh, in 1947 and uh, made a statutory body in 1956 and first chairman was C.D. Deshmukh. Now the question is which of the following are central universities? So this is very common question. Uh, Sometimes you know if you look at the question paper they will give you so you have to remember all the central universities if not all you have to remember at least half of the central universities and then uh, you have to know the famous state universities as well then you will be able to answer these type of questions right so if you look at these options dr baba sahib ambedkar open university is in gujarat it is a state university jamia milia islamia is a famous university based in delhi and it is central university punjab university is in punjab and it is central university too and then punjabi university is in patiala so it is state university and university of mumbai is a state university in maharashtra so correct answer here is b and c remember b and c right as now uh, moving to the next question gender parity index in higher education in india is so uh, first of all understand what is gender parity so it is simply a ratio of number of female students to the number of male students right so it is uh, enrolled in the primary or you know uh, in any education uh, sector right uh, whether it is primary or pre-primary or higher secondary or all or higher education so uh, ratio of the uh, female to male student and it is currently in higher education it is 1.01 .01. so uh, it is one right if you uh, make it you know for whole number so it will be one so remember the gender parity uh, index in higher education is one right now universities of ancient period which has been declared by unesco as a world heritage site is so uh, unesco uh, uh, have started declaring the world heritage site for its importance and uh, from india uh, indian you know from ancient india takshashila and nalanda so takshashila it is uh, remember uh, one one important point about takshashila it is located in uh, ancient Takshashila, right? It is an Indian city, but now it is located in Pakistan and it was a center for Buddhist study and it is declared as a world heritage site in the year 1980 and Nalanda was declared world heritage site in the year 2009. So D and E. So our correct answer is D and E. The question is which of the following value is related to self-transcendence so friends this self-transcendence is uh, it comes from the theory of basic human value and it was proposed by shalom h wards and shalom h wards talk about two points that is below ones when you know you think about welfare of people you are in direct contact right and the second point he has mentioned is a universalism means you are talking about the basic uh, goodness or doing good things to the people all peoples across the world so so self transcendence is related to value of universalism so you remember uh, you read this theory of uh, basic human value right so the question is which of the following is apex advisory and non statutory body so friends uh, uh, as we have seen earlier the non statutory body is niti ayog and it has replaced the planning commission and uh, it was formed in the year 2015 right so uh, other all three body are the statutory body which are you know uh, enacted by le uh, legislation right and uh, niti ayog is a, <coughs> a non statutory nep 2020 proposes to establish which of the following new bodies so they have given us five bodies and they have asked which are included in nep 2020 so of this if you look at option d niti ayog which is formed in 2015 and it can be eliminated it is not part of nep so if you see if you eliminate option d so you uh, you can eliminate option a and d where uh, d is one of the option and uh, next thing is e if you look at e national testing agency was before nep 2020 and then you can also eliminate option where e is one of the options so uh, a b and d are eliminated so we are left with only c that is a b c state school standard authority so they will display the uh, information related to school for the public domain so it is they are they, are, they have proposed for formation of this parak is an assessment platform for the students and it will be operated by aict and then c is 
Indian Institute of Translation and Interpretation. So here they want to implement the local languages in the higher education. So that is the purpose of this. So remember these three. So they might ask you say, the, about functions of SSC, Triple S, A, Parak, or IITI. So you have to remember all this. Now next question here is which of the following is the most effectively promoted by the globalization among the society so friends when we globalize like when uh, the borders are open or you know in, in a way that you know uh, uh, social media and all those things so this this way it has global globalized this society right so what do you think has happened so this question is for you you have to answer this in comment section with explanation right so uh, one who answers correctly i will pin that comment now Friends, we have started a new batch for uh, paper one uh, complete course and in this batch you will have completely uh, English lectures and the batches uh, you have three flexible batches 5 p.m. 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. We also have Hindi batches and uh, you know it has all the features like live lecture, video lecture, <coughs> notes, test series and you can watch this on laptop as well as your mobile. So this uh, whole course fee is just 2400 for one year. So it's very cheap. Uh, you can enroll it and make maximum use of this opportunity just download global online app from the play store then in from the you'll see this type of interface and in the store section you can click UGC and then you can enroll there and make maximum use of this opportunity.